Greetings, my friends. I almost fainted. The rarest of rarities just happened. The rarest of rarities in the entire planet, I believe, just happened. Bill Gates came out and made a statement that 100% unequivocally matches God's word, the Holy Bible. I almost fell out of my chair when I saw it. I can't believe it happened, but it happened. His statement was, let me go ahead and uh, pull out the actual exact statement. He warns of coming pandemics that are far worse than COVID-19. And again, the Holy Bible says the exact same thing in the book of Revelation. The Bible says there will be a pandemic, a plague, pestilence, or disease that happens in the tribulation period, the seven-year period that happens after the bride of Christ leaves the earth in the rapture, where it will kill anywhere between 1.5 plus billion people is the closest estimate you can get from reading the Bible. You're talking about a massive, 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 massive global killer. The worst thing that's ever happened in the history of the world as far as a plague, pandemic, or pestilence, or disease. <clears throat> and Bill Gates and the Bible are 100% right on this. It'll probably never happen again. And uh, so go ahead and just uh, mark the words on this and go ahead and just um, be in awe that this happened like I am. But I'm telling you, my friends, what's happening right now, it, it, it's bad. I mean, there's been a lot of people around the world who have died from this terrible disease. And there's a lot of people around the world who have who have, who have um, been sick. But we're talking about 1.5 to 2 billion plus people, billion with a B, dying from a plague or a disease. That is some bad, bad, bad stuff. And that's just a taste of it. The Bible also says, and again, the Bible's never been proven wrong. It's the only book, the only text, the only anything, never been proven wrong. Science has tried to prove it wrong. Man's tried to prove it wrong. They can't do it. The Bible also says in that same time that another 1.5 plus billion will die from an asteroid hitting the ocean and wiping out a, a, a huge chunk of marine life, uh, uh, hitting, wiping out uh, fresh water on the land as well, and killing 1.5 plus billion. And to make it a trifecta, it also says that a 200 million man army will come marching down from the east and it will wipe out again 1.5 plus billion people on the face of the earth as well. So you're talking about 4.5 to 6 billion people dying from those three things alone. That's not to mention all the other plagues, pestilence, diseases, and, and bold judgments and vile judgments that God's going to bring down on the earth. It's going to be a terrible, terrible, terrible time, my friends. And most people laugh and they mock. They think I'm a fool and they make fun of me and think it's really funny that I say this stuff. But I guarantee you one thing. Uh, when this stuff starts happening, people aren't going to be mocking and laughing then. They're going to be terrified and running for their lives. And I pray no one has to go through that. I don't want to see anyone have to suffer and go through the tribulation and great tribulation. So, Jesus Christ, my friends, he's all of our only hopes. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in a box below video, no one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. I love you all dearly. I love you all so much with all my heart. I don't want to see anyone, again, left behind for the for, for the, the hell on earth with, with depression and anxiety and, and, and hopelessness and helplessness and suffering and pain and heartache and just terrible things happening for seven years plus. I don't want to see anybody go through that. So if you like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. No matter what it is, I'll pray for you. And look up True Christians, our Dipson Darth and Ivy Fly. See, may God bless you. Share this video. Help me get the word out. And please, everybody, wake up. Time is short. Things are about to get really, really nasty, really, really fast. Take care. I love you. Share.